Okay, folks, here we are, Friday. I know when I say Friday, um, I said probably last week someone mentioned, well, uh, they have to work, it's Friday, and they have to work, and, and some of us are still working, uh, and I am, and on call uh, today till tomorrow morning, but uh, thank God that I do have a, uh, an occupation that I am able to um, share the love of God with people and uh, outside of even the church and pastoring the church and, and uh, being blessed to do what Teresa and I do there. Uh, I am blessed to be able to be a chaplain for 13 years for Heartland Hospice um, and I appreciate the opportunity to do that. And this morning I want to share with you something that uh, I've preached from many times, but the book of Timothy, we find that the Apostle Paul writes to Timothy, who is a young minister, and uh, we get some insight on, a lot of times we use the scripture just for ministers, uh, for young men when we are ordaining them or uh, anyone into the ministry, uh, but this isn't just for ministers this morning and I I think uh, it can be really important for us in this day and time we are living in we find ourselves in um, I know the other day I mentioned uh, reading from a book uh, called soul keeping and this is basically some of that uh, in a nutshell what we're doing um, to walk closer to God through this difficult time uh, when we have maybe more time on our hands to devote to reading or just spending time with God, slowing down some and spending time with God. And my prayer is, is that you have been able to do that. I'm thankful for those that have commented that I have been a help uh, to them through this time and let me assure you that just reading some of your comments you you have been a help uh, to Teresa and I as well and so we love you and we thank you um, for your time and this morning I want to read to you uh, from the book of 2nd Timothy in chapter 2 of 2nd Timothy uh, Paul writes to Timothy that thou therefore my son be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus and the things that thou hast heard and of, of, of me and among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. And so he's telling him, when you have considered these things and learned them, then you share them and commit them to um, other men that they may teach um, those that they come in contact with. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Now, uh, if we were speaking and it was a holiday to remember veterans, we could say, or soldiers, we could say, oh, that's a great message. Well, every day, every day should be a day when we thank those that we either hear uh, or or come in contact with those that have served in our military we we do need so much to thank them for their for their commitment and dedication and what they've done um, to put their lives on the line uh, many of those folks for uh, some of the freedoms that we enjoy today and we know as Christians that all freedom comes from God and uh, so we thank the Lord for that as well, of course. But he says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. And then here he makes a statement, No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. No man that goes into war gets entangled with the affairs of this life. Now, does that mean that we can't and don't live on this earth? No, no. And sometimes I think we can try to add too much to the Word of God, but what it is saying is nobody that is uh, in this war that is um, and, and not a war with a virus, or not a pandemic, but I'm talking about spiritually. No one that uh, spiritually 
battles this war should entangle themselves with the affairs of this life, with the things that uh, could weigh you down, could bring you down. And I know some of those things are, um, I mean, it's evident that some of those things will weigh us down at times, but I'm talking about willingly giving yourself over to things that would corrupt you as a believer. And so it's important that we uh, know that we are a soldier of Jesus Christ and we're in the battle for him and there's no need for us to entangle ourselves with things that would bring us down, things that would discourage us. And I'm talking to a dear brother the other day and I could sense some discouragement in his voice, but I said to him, although you are not a minister, Satan would love, just as he would have loved with Peter to have sifted him as wheat, Satan would love, for those of you watching, to get you so down and so discouraged that you would not even be able to help those around you. And I said to this uh, gentleman as I was talking to him, uh, maybe Satan tells you that it doesn't matter, but it does matter because you uh, being strong is an encouragement to me. And me being strong is an encouragement to you and to others. So we don't need to be entangled with the things of this world. But we need to uh, fight the good fight. Keep the faith. Just as soldiers would do. We got each other's back. We need to go and be protective of each other. So you pray for me. And I pray for you. And... Um, there's a song that I sang today for a fella. And I'm going to try to sing a piece of it for you here. I'm playing a, a, an instrument, a Fender guitar here today that had belonged to a Korean War veteran. And um, I say it was his baby, but when he passed, um, his caretaker said, he wanted you to have this guitar and every time I pick it up and look at it I think of him and and um, and him giving his service for our country um, folks we're in a battle we're in a war we don't need to get ourselves entangled with things that would slow us down or corrupt our minds or break our spirit um, but we need to be encouraged every day and I, I said yesterday and and I meant this that uh, no matter where it is, you find the spiritual food. Find it. Take it. Absorb it. My Uncle Dave used to say, uh, just be like a sponge. Just soak it in because there's going to come a day when you need to wring that out. And um, um, this may be the day for you. I'm going to sing you a piece of two songs today. Two songs. Here's the first one. Sometimes life tries to keep you down Sometimes it's hard to fight another round Maybe you feel like you're spinning your wheels in vain It's hard to tell where someone's been When you're on the outside looking in You just see the rainbow you don't notice the rain I have a burden to pray for you Somebody in heaven must have wanted me to I woke up this morning With you on my mind Behind your smile I can see your pain but I believe angels are whispering your name They're telling the Father What you're going through Somebody in heaven sure thinks a lot of you And that is true, somebody in heaven sure thinks a lot of you This song here is called Wounded Soldier Lord, my battle scars are many My medals must be few 
For in the midst of conflicts raging, so often I've failed you. Somehow you kept me standing, picked me up each time I fall. You don't cast out wounded soldiers, you just love them through it all. And one day all the soldiers will go home, will cease fighting, for the battle will be won. As the captain says, well done, you fought the fight, the race is run, wounded soldier. One day it will be over while we're still here. We're still spiritually fighting the good fight. I would say to you, enjoy the life that God has blessed you with. And what you think may be bad today, you can always look and say it could be worse. Um, you may not have it like you want it. Uh, but thank God you don't have it as bad as some folks do around you. So please do comfort one another and pray for one another and love one another. Lord, we thank you today for the opportunity to speak to these folks. And Lord, I pray that you would bless all those in the Lord's army today. Encourage them, strengthen them, give them peace of mind, give them comfort, give them courage today, Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, folks. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.